Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. In today's class, in our channel, we are going to discuss today current affairs. Okay, so current affairs, regional, national and international. Okay, so let us start today's class. If you are not subscribed to our channel, do subscribe, like and share our channel. Okay, so now we'll start today's class. So before starting the class, let me show you a uh, syllabus which we are going to discuss in today's class. See for us AWE, syllabus is same regarding this current affairs for AWE and AE. So for AWE, you can see current affairs, regional, national and international and international relations and events. Okay, so we can get a lot of uh, questions from these two topics. And uh, talking about this AE also same. You can see current affairs, regional, national and international, international relations and events. Okay. So now let us start today's class. See here, I have prepared this material. Now we will discuss. See, we will start with uh, one uh, digital protection bill. Okay. So our central government has introduced uh, a draft related to this digital data protection bill now we'll see how we can learn how we can understand this digital data protection bill see friends uh, regarding this current affairs uh, whatever it may be a uh, national regional or international you have to read it properly okay you have to understand the content you have to understand the meaning then only because we'll be preparing lot of things as it's a vast syllabus so you have to read it properly okay pronounce it properly and after reading you go for writing okay reading and writing only with this reading and writing you can remember lot of things within small amount of time okay so now we'll start see draft digital data protection bill table for public opinion comments the revised draft now called the digital personal data protection bill 2022 the center's significantly shorted and revised draft bill on personal data protection proposes a hefty increase in penalty amounts up to rupees 500 crore okay now what is this uh, data protection bill see our government has uh, introduced this uh, data protection bill by changing the name so draft means they have prepared this bill so they are going for revising this draft and once this draft is approved it will be it is the bill the it is uh, called the digit the name is the digital personal data protection bill 2022 if anybody is misusing this thing the government will impose penalty amounts up to rupees 500 crore okay so all each and every citizen personal data will be in this uh, uh, it is saved in this uh, digital data protection bill okay now we'll move to the next one india's first private rocket lifts off from isro space port okay the six meter tall launch vehicle vikram s is named after vikram sarabhai the rocket is developed by the hyderabad based startup skyroot aerospace private limited okay so previously also many times we have seen this uh, company name it's a startup they have won uh, many awards in this uh, startup category skyroot uh, aerospace private limited so what they have done see india's first private rocket lifts off from isro space port the six meter tall launch vehicle so what is the name of the vehicle vikram s why they have kept this name it is Vikram S yes, means after Vikram Sarabhai. Okay. Who has developed this uh, pri private vehicle, uh, first private rocket? It is developed by a startup company that is Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited. It is a Hyderabad based company. Okay. Like that we have to understand the content. Then easily we can remember it. Next to see here, India's uh, blue economy. India's blue economy accounts for roughly 4% of the GDP and is uh, estimated to increase once the mechanism is improved. 
ओके इंडिया ब्लू इकोनॉमी अकाउंट्स फॉर रफली फोर परसेंट ऑफ द जी डी पी एंड इज एस्टिमेटेड टू इंक्रीज वंस द मेकेजम इज इम्प्रूव सो इंडिया ब्लू इकोनॉमी इन आवर एंटायर शेयर हाउ मच इट इज इट इज फोर परसेंट लाइक दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड नेक्स्ट सी यर टी ई यू टी ई यू स्टैंड फॉर टी इज फॉर ट्वेंटी इज फॉर इक्वलेंट यू इज यूनिट सो ट्वेंटी इक्वलेंट यूनिट मीन्स for importing and exporting we nowadays we are using containers okay so this containers uh, subject to uh, airways waterways roadways so this uh, size of the container is uh, this 20 equivalent unit okay you can understand this one size of the container is 20 equivalent unit next see here bimstek is there full form of bimstek bimstek means bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation members okay like that you have to understand about this uh, bimstek and uh, next we'll continue after this uh, bimstek see here you can see uh, the gulf of manar the gulf of manar is an important uh, biodiversity hotspot as it supports uh, numerous marine ecosystems and provides a sense of economic security for tamil nadu due to its fisheries resources okay so gulf of manar is an important biodiversity hotspot so it uh, helps uh, tamil nadu state fisheries okay to generate uh, economy for this fishery fishing okay next uh, you can see here ins vikrant india's first indigenous aircraft carrier what do you mean by this indigenous means indigenous means our countries we are it's purely our product okay it's the technology is developed by india only indigenous means we we call it as swadeshi product okay so indigenous india's first indigenous aircraft carrier iac so it is designed by the indian navy's in house warship design bureau wdb and built by cochin shipyard okay like that you want to understand about this uh, ins vikram okay and uh, see next uh, the new navy flag was unveiled by the prime minister narendra modi in september 2022 inspired by the seal of great indian emperor chhatrapati shivaji maharaj okay so our navy flag has been changed and it has been adopted by the seal of great indian emperor chhatrapati shivaji maharaj okay so who started who inaugurated this navy flag our prime minister narendra modi in september 2022 okay next we will discuss about this sagar mala okay sagar mala belongs to ministry of shipping to develop access to new development regions with intermodal solutions and promotion of the optimum modal split enhanced connectivity with main economic centers and beyond through expansion of rail inland water coastal and road services so this sagar mala as i told you it belongs to it is related to ministry of shipping they were having uh, they are bringing this uh, program to the public to develop the especially the sea shore the shore okay coastal area simply we can say the coastal area by expansion of rail inland water okay connected to this coastal and road services next uh, see you can see sst sea surface temperature and uh, talking about our state uh, regional current affairs see here hyderabad has got one international award that is green city award 2022 living green for economic recovery and inclusive growth okay so who has uh, announced this award see it has been announced by uh, south korea okay south korea due to an uh, occasion that is international association of horticulture producers aiph they have announced this uh, international award to our city 
okay so like that it, it becomes a international current affairs at the same time it, it occupies our regional current affairs also next one more award for our uh, temple yagiruta sri lakshminasimha swami temple green place of worship award is given announced to yagiruta sri lakshminasimha swami temple by indian green building council for the period of 22 to 25 okay like that you have to understand next uh, prime minister has uh, started rozgar mela so upcoming year their government has proposed 10 lakhs government job for the citizens of our country and the prime minister has started on 22 10 2022 through video conference uh, prime minister has started this rozgar mela next uh, so we have celebrated vajroso means 75 years of uh, independence on this great occasion swachh sarveshan 2022 awards our state has bagged number one rank okay so it also comes uh, state current affairs and uh, national current affairs also and uh, state wise state wise our country our state has bagged number one rank and district wise you can see jagityala has uh, got second rank and then nizamabad got third rank and uh, seeing the zones category nizamabad zone got second rank and badradi kotteguram got third rank and sujalam 1.0 campaign telangana got third rank and uh, sujalam 2.0 campaign telangana got third rank okay for first and second also telangana got our state got third rank and uh, national film competition here you can see nukalam padu grama panchayati enkulam mandalam enkuru mandalam got third rank and wall painting competitive odf plus biodegradable verdal management gobardhan means uh, wastewater management also for south see you can see here i wrote in telugu plastic verdal management murguniti management bahiranga mala visarjana management so telangana state uh, south zone got first rank okay see here from here onwards Reserve Bank of India has given, uh, has uh, issued a report on our state, on Telangana, okay, regarding the status of our GDP, all these things, per capita income, all these things. Now we'll discuss these things. For 2017 to 18, our state income was 95,000 crores, and 20 to 21, our state income is rupees 1.81 lakhs crores. And our state government is spending for Raithubandhu 58,000 crores. And for free power, especially for agriculture, government is spending 10,000 crores per year. Okay. And uh, government has spent 353 crores for uh, this, uh, what we call Chepa Pillalu, right? And uh, it has distributed 425 crores Chepa Pillalu, okay, for the uh, farmers, those who are seeing this. Uh, 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 what we call this uh, uh, fisheries all these things and uh, with this uh, it has generated 28,000 crores uh, last six years it has generated 28,000 crores revenue right and uh, you can see about uh, food grains uh, harvesting yield also increased if you see the paddy 2017 it was uh, 62,000 metric ton and 2021 the paddy yield is 1.23 lakh metric ton okay and uh, next uh, see here and uh, see mottam ahara danialo 2017 lo 94000 metric ton nunchi 2021 aatiki pappu saha 1.50 lakhs metric ton perigindi arbe nivedika perkonnadi okay so it has increased okay so in 2017 it was 94000 metric ton and 21 it is 1.50 lakh metric ton right yield uh, yield has been increased and for 13 to 14 state gsdp is 5 lakhs 5849 crores and 21 to 22 it has uh, gone up to 11 lakhs 54860 crores and Telangana state per capita income is for the period 14 to 15 it is 1,24,104 for the 
for, for the period 21 to 22 it is 278833 right and jatiya sagatu kanna mana rashtra talasari adaya 86% adhikam kaavadam manandarki garva karanam so per capita income if compared to countries per capita income it is 86% and telangana ko haritaram rashtram lo pachadanam 7.7 .7 periginattu forest survey of india forest survey of india has announced that uh, greenery in our state has uh, reached 7.7 percent and it ranga egumatullo desha um, vruddhi rate to 17.20 maathrave undaga telangana vruddhi rate to 26.14 so exporting the it projects our state is uh, 26.14 percent and countries is 17.20 percent okay so we'll stop here i think uh, today's class will be uh, definitely helpful for your exam preparation right so if you are not subscribed to our channel do subscribe like and share if you are having any doubts if you need any additional information please post in the comments box i will give you a reply okay so don't skip the channel in between so it is uh, very uh, knowledge gainful okay so watch the entire channel thank you very much thank you for watching